Hi, this is tutorial number 11 for Simple Traffic System version 1.0.13. In this video, we'll look at configuring yield triggers for routes that intersect with each other. This is most common in intersections. So for example, this left-hand turn lane will cross over these two routes coming in the opposite direction. So because of that, previous to when yield triggers were available, if we take a look at the traffic light manager for this intersection, which is AI traffic light manager two, the second element holds lights four, five, and six. So, so this is light four on the right hand lane five and six are in the opposite directions. So before yield triggers were written, this type of scenario would not be possible and that's why the lights were configured that way. So what we'll actually do is we want to be able to have all four of these traffic lights active at the same time and make it so that when the cars that want to turn left reach this waypoint, they will always yield for oncoming traffic or approaching traffic. And that's the purpose of yield triggers. This is a new feature, and if there are any requests or different use cases, please let me know, and I will work on seeing what I can do for that. So to set up a yield trigger, you will add it to a route specifically the AI traffic waypoint route info. And there's an automated way to do this. In the AI traffic waypoint route inspector, there are instructions to show you how to spawn one of these yield triggers and automatically have it configured. And all that is is hold down shift and right click. So I'll do that and spawn my yield trigger. We can see that it's automatically assigned to the AI traffic waypoint route info. One more thing that we want to do before we actually start working with yield triggers is make sure to enable the use yield trigger option on the AI traffic controller. So once you have the yield triggers enabled, you can go ahead and build them out. And what they do is they, they basically have a value that returns true if a car is occupying the bounds of this collider. So what I'll do is I'll adjust this a little bit. And anytime a car is inside of this box collider trigger, any waypoint that's watching for this will yield for that as long as the route's traffic light is green. So when the traffic light is red, the yield triggers don't matter. And we'll get into an example in just a moment. So we need to configure it for this lane as well. I go ahead and shift click while I have the AI traffic waypoint route selected. And I'll go ahead and click on the yield trigger collider and select edit collider. And I'm just going to bring the bounds out to where it passes all of uh, the cross traffic. And the reason we're pulling them back farther in this direction is because if there's a car approaching the intersection, we do want to make the cars that are yielding wait for that car. So this might actually be a little too big. I can actually go ahead and and take these and maybe move them up a little bit more. Go ahead and play with it as you configure your own. It might take a little bit of trial and error. But at this point I have two yield triggers configured for both of these lanes. And the reason I'm extending the bounds on the left and the right side of the lane 
is to account for lane changing. So if if a card does lane change, we want that to be registered if possible. Okay, so this is actually good enough, and I probably did a little bit more work than is actually required for most scenarios. And at this point, we have our yield triggers configured for our two routes. So if we take a look at this route, we can see that it's referencing the yield trigger that was spawned into the scene. The next thing we want to do is use the STS tools window and change the configure mode to yield triggers and load the routes. From here, we will select the route that we want to configure to listen and check for the yield triggers. Specifically, we want to next pick the waypoint at which cars will stop up until. So cars will not proceed past this waypoint if this waypoint is assigned a yield trigger. So let's go ahead and take a look at the, the two waypoints really quick that are right here. So there's a new yield trigger list that's part of the AI traffic waypoint route. And with that waypoint selected, we can then select the yield trigger that we'd like to assign to it and press the assign yield trigger to waypoint button. And we can see that is populated in the inspector. We can reselect the yield trigger and remove the yield trigger from the waypoint if we want. But what we actually want to do is configure both, just like that. So we'll see that we have a red line pointing to both of those yield triggers. And then we want to do the same thing. So if we press the R that for the route that's selected, we can then select another route. And here we'll select another waypoint of that route and assign the yield trigger to it. Okay. So at this point we've built two yield triggers for the routes and the yield triggers live on the AI traffic waypoint route script. And what they're going to do is enable the bool value yield for traffic light as long as the light is green. Otherwise, yield for traffic light will always return false. Okay, so with all of that configured and user yield triggers is enabled with the AI traffic controller, we can go ahead and press play. And if we take a look at the scene, let's find our traffic lights and we could see that all four of them are configured. So this is going to be the third sequence. So once we get to that sequence, the cars that are approaching the intersection will yield for any cross traffic. Let me go ahead and turn these gizmos off. So this is currently the second sequence. We're just, these two lights are enabled. Next up should be the sequence that we're looking for. Let's just go ahead and pause it for one moment. And we'll take a look at the routes again. So let me unpause it and re-enable the gizmos. And we'll notice that when the light turns green, the AI traffic waypoint route info script will be enabled and the box collider will begin checking for cars within its bounds to notify the system if it needs to yield for the traffic light. 
Okay, so it's enabled and the collider is basically telling the route that cars should yield for it. So because of that, the yellow car is waiting because there is cross traffic. And you could adjust the positions of the waypoints to make the car move further up into the route. But at this point, once the cars exit those yield triggers, the yellow car will proceed. And we could see yield for traffic light is no longer enabled. So the yellow car is going to proceed. But because the traffic light cycle ended, the green car will just wait. And that's basically how yield triggers work. Again, this is an experimental feature. It's brand new. If you have other use cases that are different from what's described in this video, please let me know. And um, I can try to adjust the system to make it work for those cases if it doesn't work for those cases. Thanks. Bye.